What is the hardest thing for your clients to learn? I would say the hardest thing for my clients is pronunciation of luxury brands. Because especially for my hostesses who don't speak English because they're in their 40s, uh, whereas my debutantes, they speak English fluently because they're all studying abroad. My hostesses, they're trying to learn Italian, French, and if they want to pronounce Loeva, Spanish, all at the same time. Is that really important to learn though? I mean, people will forgive someone for mispronouncing things when it's not in their own native language. I've heard many Americans mispronounce Chinese words and I don't see Americans going to classes learning to pronounce Chinese words, Chinese brands properly. So some might say this is rather superficial. I don't think it's superficial and neither do my clients because they want to respect the brand by knowing how to say it properly. And I have friends who do work at Louis Vuitton uh, or other, other luxury houses like that and they complain. You know, when they hear somebody say, call it Louis Vuitton instead of Louis Vuitton, they're actually, they, I mean, they're quite hurt by it. They're hurt that their name is pronounced? They're offended. Okay. How would you define good manners then? I would say that good manners is about putting other people at ease. So for example, if, if I have a dinner and my guest uses drinks from the finger bowl rather than using it to wash his fingers, then rather than pointing out to him that he's done something incorrectly or pointing out or letting him see that I'm washing my fingers in something that he just drank from, I would also do the same and drink from my finger bowl. When Institute Sarita is highly successful, what does that mean? To me, you know, my role model has been Martha Stewart in the US. And of course, her target clientele, she served a different niche, which was the middle class American housewife who was staying at home and she started with her cooking show. And after that, she branched out into interior design, into etiquette, and she had her media empire. Uh, for me, Etiquette is what, cooking was to her what etiquette is to me. It's very important to me. And, but ultimately, there's so much more etiquette is about a lifestyle, you know, even interior design, the beautiful dining sets that I use in my school. That's where I see this business going.